Today I'd like to discuss why you shouldn't take breaths at the end of a crescendo. First, we need to talk about what a crescendo looks like. A crescendo looks like this. They start with the two lines together and then they spread apart to the other end. You might also see crash written in your music. It also looks like a less than symbol because this side is less volume than this side, which is more volume. How do you play a crescendo? Well, you start really quiet and then get really loud like this. Now, usually crescendos are meant to add a dramatic element to the performance. This is beyond playing the right notes and the right rhythm. Music's about tension and release of that. Just like a really good movie, there's conflict. There's parts that things get a little ugly or someone dies or someone gets married or, you know, various things that happen, good and bad. So crescendos are used to add that dramatic part to the music. Usually it goes to another note after it, like this. Now, oftentimes, students run out of air by the time they get to the end of the crescendo, and then they snag a quick breath to play the last note, like this. And that's not the correct way to do that in most cases. Think of it like this. You're watching a really intense movie. There's fighting, there's battles happening, and we're right near the climax, this good versus evil. And right when the biggest evil guy and the biggest hero get together to fight, the movie goes to a commercial. You're sitting there like, oh, come on, man. I just want to see this battle scene. I want to see the ending. I want to see the outcome. And then they got to go to commercial. It totally ruins the mood in that particular scene. That that's what it's like when you take that breath. Up oh, commercial, I'm not gonna give you that last note. So we don't like commercials. We're gonna cut the commercial out and we're gonna keep the scene moving. So you have to have enough air left over at the end of the crescendo to be able to play that last note. That's really difficult and something you actually need to practice. Maybe you need to plan out breathing somewhere else where you might not need a breath, but you're going to need to take one to play what is coming up next. Hopefully that helps you not breathe in between crescendos and the next note. If you have an idea or a suggestion you would like me to cover in a future video, leave a comment below. I would be happy to make a short little video clip to talk about these things.